my name is Dasi Fernandez. Um, I'm an artist from Chile, and I grew up in a little city called Rancagua. Well, I I, I grew up like in a, in a close to actually Rancagua is like in a farm. I actually started to paint like a, in in like right next to the cows and, and you know horses and stuff like that. But I started to paint like when I was 13 years old, and then I moved to Santiago because I started to study architecture. I never wanted to work as a as an architect. It was more like to have more comprehension about public spaces and stuff like that. After I, I studied, I, I quit my studies to keep painting, and and then I moved to, to New York. That year, before then I came to the United States, well, like was very good. I did many, 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 many projects. In Chile, I went out like and I, and I just painted, or, or if I like it, a wall, and I usually got it. But here it was impossible. Nobody gave you any wall, you know? And I think the very first piece that I, that I painted in, in Bushwick in Brooklyn, uh, I got my first job. I just put in my website and somebody wrote me immediately. And that's how it started. Hip hop, definitely. It wasn't anything else more than hip hop. I always drew and everything, but in hip hop you have to be active. You have to do something to be part of the movement. And to me, at the beginning, it was just about tagging, and, and of course, like it was about painting some more elaborated pieces. And then I started to paint characters, and, and I realized that it was very easy. It was very natural for me. And realized it too that it was a very different impact, you know. And I fell in love with the idea of turning spaces into a place, and, and how you can you can give a soul to a to a simple space just with a, a, and you know a little bit of pain. Uh, as an artist, you never wanted so anybody tell you what you have to paint. So you have to fight to to keep your your own style and paint what you want. You know, like I think the, the, the most important thing when you paint a community mural is that the people who is organizing the projects trust in the artist. I always tell them that don't give me ideas of what to paint, let's work together about the concepts. I, mean, I don't know anymore if I'm a graffiti artist or a street artist or a, or a muralist, those are just names and I believe in all my styles. I just always try to keep the same energy you know, in all the pieces that I, that I do, even if they are totally different in style. So it doesn't matter if it's like something with a very strong message, if that provokes an inspiration in somebody, then my work is done. That passion, you know, like for something that you believe, you know, of course that is the base of what I do, you know? I, I will not have any problem dying for what I'm doing, you know? I don't consider, you know, being living or I don't see life without painting in the street, you know, and the contact that you have with the people. And, and one of the reasons actually, you know, like I've been painting in the street is that, that you can change the perception of somebody, you know, like a, just with a couple of colors, you know, like a, a, to make people like travel somewhere else, you know, for a few seconds in their, you know, daily routine. And that's the most important thing. 